Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. Rockingham County Today is sponsored by Oyster Creek Enterprises for personal promotional t-shirts and caps on the boulevard in Eden. Create and design online at oyster-creek.com, locally owned and operated. The Rockingham County Sheriff's Office is investigating a homicide and shooting at 1960 Moyer Mill Road, Reedsville. When deputies responded Wednesday morning around 3.30, they found Riven S. Daniels, 29, of 706 Ayersville Road in Mayden, inside the home, dead from a gunshot wound. Authorities were alerted when Quantes Dante Moore, 30, who lives at the Moyer Mill Road address, was treated at UNC Rockingham Healthcare and airlifted to another hospital. He was arrested about a week and a half ago by Eden Police as part of a FedEx theft ring, exchanging packages for illegal narcotics, charged with conspiracy to commit larceny by employee and receiving stolen property, both felonies. He was out of jail on a $7,500 bond and originally scheduled to be in district court one week from today. Five other people were arrested in the FedEx incident. Anyone with information on the shooting and homicide is asked to contact the sheriff's office or Crime Stoppers. Lots of comments on social media since this story was first reported on Mike Moore Media. From Rockingham County 911, several DOA reports overnight. 1295 Angel Road, Madison, Mail 50. And 408 South Ayersville Road, Mayadan, Mail Age Unknown. Another propane tank explosion at Foss Recycling, 219 Watlington Drive in Reedsville. It's a second one in a week. There was a large fire at the facility in November. It burned for several days with plumes of smoke visible from Greensboro to Danville. A busy night for EMS, getting people in and out of area hospitals. The Pennsylvania Danville Health District reports 25 new COVID-19 deaths this week, driven by the Omicron virus. There have been recent outbreaks at two long-term care facilities and one in a child care setting. A total of 388 residents in the district have died since March 2020. Across North Carolina, almost 21,500 have died from COVID since that 2020 date, according to state health officials. Wednesday, there were 10,513 new cases, up from 4,648 Tuesday. 3,812 were hospitalized including 651 in intensive care units, 157 new deaths statewide yesterday. Now Rockingham County weather, sunny, highs and lows, today 62 and 31, Friday 65 and 43, Saturday 63 and 35, Sunday a 50% chance of a winter mix, probably starting Saturday night, High Sunday, 44, low 20. Triad, record highs and lows on this day, 74, 1938, 5, 1979. Get current weather information anytime at MikeMoore.media, along with Rocking Cam, our live stream 24-hour weather camera, sponsored by Heat and Air Controllers, for year-round comfort, whatever the weather. Keith and Kevin Lane just celebrated a big business milestone, opening their pharmacy February 5th, 2001, on Kings Highway in Eden, now on Highway 14. They've built a successful business over the years, the pharmacy, durable home medical equipment division, and lane care, serving group homes, assisted and independent living facilities across North Carolina and Southern Virginia. Lane's Family Pharmacy and Home Health Care. For countywide delivery, call 336-627-4600. AutomotiveMap.com presents the Sports Flash on Mike Moore Media. 
On the college basketball schedule last night, Wake Forest beat NC State 69-51. Alondis Williams with 17 points in the win. Gardner-Webb with a 57-45 win at Campbell. DeMorian Williams with 15 points. North Carolina A&T beat Charleston Southern 62-51. High point, 79-70 winners at Presbyterian. Winthrop beat Radford 58-48. Davidson over St. Joe's 73-67 in overtime. Chattanooga beat Western Carolina 65-47. UNC Asheville beat Hampton 69-53. Alabama with a 97-83 win at Ole Miss. Number 19, Tennessee, 72-63 winners at Mississippi State. NBA, the Bulls beat the Hornets 121-109. LaMelo Ball had 33 points in the loss. NHL tonight, the Hurricanes visit Boston. Carolina winless in two. For Lightning Fast Sports updates, download the Score app. It's free and one of the most popular sports apps in North America. That's the Sports Flash, Chuck Sanders, Mike Moore Media. Have an event coming up? We'll promote it for you free. Email those events to rockinghamcountync at gmail.com. Now we'll check on the community calendar, sponsored by Night Owl National Stoneworks in Eden, in the former Kmart location. Granite, quartz, and marble for commercial and residential. You'll find an expanded community calendar, just updated last night, at mikemore.media and shoprockinghamcounty.com. Team Reedsville has another creative photo opportunity, this one for Valentine's Day. Doors to your heart. It's at Market Square downtown. Stop by between 5 and 8. Lots of good music coming up at the Reedsville Showcase at Rockingham Theater. Tomorrow, Aaron Tippin. Next week, Wade Hayes, the 18th. Junior Sisk Band, the 19th. Lee Greenwood on the 25th. Complete details on their Facebook page, the Reedsville Showcase at Rockingham Theater. Oyster Roast at the Blissful Ridge, Cherokee Camp Road, Wentworth, tomorrow, 6 to 9, sponsored by the Fine Arts Festival of Rockingham County. Food, beer, wine, and music. Tickets, $50. Blue Ridge Mountain Airs from North Wilkesboro will be at the Sandy Ridge Community Building, NC704, Saturday at 6. Concessions, Hearts and Crafts at Med Inn Arts Center, downtown, Valentine's Day at 10. Music and Crafting. Monthly Western Rockingham Chamber of Commerce Networking Coffee at the Madison Med Inn Recreation Department, Thursday, February 17th at 8. Now today's Consumer Report. Sponsored by Ferguson Stump Grinding. Experienced the right equipment, fair prices, fergusonstumpgrinding.com. Ben Ferguson stopped by our studios yesterday. He does good work. I know that firsthand. Call for a free estimate. Automakers Hyundai and Kia have advised the owners of 484,000 vehicles sold in the U.S. to park outside and away from other vehicles because of fire risks until new recall repairs are completed. The company said the problem is in the hydraulic electronic control unit module. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau says Americans have been forced to cough up billions in junk fees every year, and it wants to do something about it. The fees often take the form of service charges or resort fees and make it hard for consumers to comparison shop. If one of your winter projects includes freshening up the walls of your home with a new coat of paint, you might have trouble finding the brand you're looking for. Supply chain shortages are now affecting the paint industry. Manufacturers report they're having difficulty in importing sufficient quantities of pigment. I'm Mark Huffman. Learn more at ConsumerAffairs.com. Today in history, 1790, George Washington appointed James Iredale from North Carolina to the U.S. Supreme Court, the first person from our state named to a federal office. 1870, the YMCA was founded in New York City. 1933, the singing telegram was introduced by the Postal Telegraph Company. I miss those, don't you? 1995, Kmart closed in Eden Mall. At its peak, the mid-90s, Kmart operated 2,486 stores. Now, today's trivia, how many Kmarts are still open? How many Kmarts still open? Give you a moment to think about that. Time's up. We have 10, 10 Kmart still open, one each in Florida and New York, two in New Jersey, 
the rest in Guam, the Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico. Now let's see who's celebrating. It's the Birthday Club for February 10th. Only a couple of names. Christy Travis and Bradley Tatum. Happy birthday to you, Bradley Tatum and Christy Travis. Let me know who's celebrating. Get those birthdays in. Tomorrow, I'll have the names for Friday and Saturday. And then we'll recap the entire week going back to Sunday, all seven days of birthdays. And we'll have a really nice prize package to give away, at least a $100 value. So get those birthdays in. The person you tell me about could be our our lucky winner tomorrow. I do have some uh, big-name birthdays today. Laura Dern, 55, George Stephanopoulos, 61, Roberta Flack, 85, and Greg Norman is 67. Here's author Philip Gully with today's Front Porch Tale. My friend Jim is a minister. He wears a big cross. He gives a wad of money away every year. He is devout. He is smart. His children are gifted, and his wife mows the lawn. Naturally, I despise him. Once he went on a trip to Honduras, a mission trip, he told me, to minister to the poor. He needed work boots for the trip, so I lent him a pair of mine. I have two pairs of boots, my motorcycle boots and my snow shoveling boots. My motorcycle boots are the John Waynes of footwear. I pull those babies on and small children cower behind their mother's skirts. No one, I repeat, no one wears them but me. My snow shoveling boots are part of the Ward Cleaver collection. Thankfully, I haven't had to wear them since convincing my wife that shoveling snow actually melts fat from the hips and thighs. Jim got those. I drove Jim to the airport. He had never flown before and was nervous, so I comforted him by pointing out that death by airplane crash, though increasingly common, was virtually painless. Jim was gone for three weeks. He called on the phone when he got back home. I have good news and bad news, he said. The bad news is that the airline lost all my luggage, including your boots. The good news is that the airline says they're sure to find everything. There are losses... And there are losses. Whenever I see Jim, I reminisce aloud about the best pair of boots I'd ever had. But the truth is, I haven't missed them at all. I lost them, but they were not a loss. But my grandmother Norma died right before that, and it was an uppercut to the heart. It felt like a thief broke in and stole the family quilt and ripped out the centerpieces. So there are losses. Then there are losses. Story in the Bible tells about a man who lost a prodigal son. The other side of that story was about a son who lost a father. Then it hit him that maybe his father wasn't lost to him after all, and he swallowed pride and headed for home. My friend Jim says pride can cause us to lose a lot of things, like perspective and faith and compassion. He's right, of course, like he is about most things. Which, if you must know, is why I don't like him. But I'm working on it. Front Porch Tales, a collection of stories by author Philip Gully, is available from Multnomah Publishers. Now today's motivational moment. Practice the pause. Pause before judging. Pause before assuming. Pause before accusing. Pause whenever you're about to react harshly, and you'll avoid doing and saying things you will regret later. Practice the pause. That's our program today. Always great to have you tuned in. Thank you for that, friends. Have a wonderful Thursday, and remember to count your blessings.